Plants in hot, dry environments lose a significant amount of water through their stomata. Essentially, plants become dehydrated. To prevent water loss, these plants close their stomata. While the stomata remain closed, photosynthesis continues in these plants. Recall from the previous lecture, photosynthesis consumes carbon dioxide and produces oxygen. Normally, the oxygen produced by photosynthesis diffuses out through the open stomata. But when stomata are closed, oxygen builds up and carbon dioxide decreases in the plant leaf. Now let's discuss the consequences of having increased oxygen within the leaf by examining the chloroplast of a palisade cell. Recall that the chloroplast has three membranes, the outer membrane, inner membrane, and thylakoid membrane. The compartments include the stroma and the thylakoid space. With an elevated oxygen concentration, rubisco in the stroma will attach oxygen rather than carbon dioxide onto ribulose bisphosphate. After the attachment of oxygen onto ribulose bisphosphate, two molecules result. 3-phosphoglycerate, which is a 3-carbon molecule, and phosphoglycolate, a 2-carbon molecule. Phosphoglycolate cannot continue in the Calvin cycle. Thus, it is broken down and its carbon units are released as carbon dioxide and wasted. Due to insufficient carbon in the Calvin cycle, glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate cannot be produced. However, the cycle does continue and ribulose bisphosphate is regenerated. This process is known as photorespiration. In summary, photorespiration wastes carbon, requires energy input, and does not result in the formation of glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate, a precursor of glucose.